Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well. And today I would like to give you a presentation about a framework for automatic tolerance analysis of removable flood wall anchor plates with 3D laser scanning and bin. My name is Sevilla Demirkesen and I'm an assistant professor at Gebza Technical University. And I'm presenting this research on behalf of my colleagues who are working at different parts in the world. So let's start with a brief introduction about the topic. What's a removable flood wall? A removable flood wall is a series of panels that can be quickly constructed when a flood occurs for flood fighting and then taken down and stored when, un when not in use. So one critical step of installing a removable flood wall is to assemble anchor plates in a rapid and precise manner. In a tight schedule of flood fighting, ensuring the shape of quality and installation tolerances of this place is an important step for preventing failures during the installation. And in order to overcome these limitations, uh, the main purpose of this study is to examine a semi-automated method that, integrate, uh, that integrates the use of building information modeling and 3D laser scanning technology to enable a rapid analysis of the assembled quality of anchor plates for removable flood wall. So what are the methods that we implemented in the research? So this research first introduces the framework of an automatic dimensional and surface quality assessment method. Then in the second step, it describes the data capture and quality inspection procedure and the data storage for the delivery and delivery methods. Uh, in order to explain the methods employed in the research and present a general frame of the work, a real project located in Hinghe, China, was used to validate the level of technical feasibility and accuracy of the presented methods. The results indicated that the proposed integration of BIM and 3D laser scanning has the potential to produce a semi-automated and reliable method to proactively control the assembled quality of anchor plates for removable flood wall during field installations. So this framework represents the general flow that actually that was actually followed up in the research. As the first part of the research, a framework for quality analysis of anchor plates for removable flood wall using 3D laser scanning and BIM was composed. Then a BIM model including the pre-design based on the assembly instruction of anchor plates was created along with the anchor plates installation quality control processes and overall anchor plates design model in building information modeling. So then the BIM model was employed as an input to field data collection using 3D laser scanning. And then two, two other processes were presented in here as a scanning before pouring concrete and scanning after pouring concrete. These were all inputs for the flow point cloud processing, which actually consisted of two other sub processes as the noise removal, anchor plate key factors is extraction and edge losses compensation. Then the data that was coming out from the flow point cloud processing was merged pointed cloud with BIM model. Then a comparison analysis was conducted between the design and actual constructed position. And the semi-automatic quality assessment method was followed up and field tests and validation processes were realized accordingly. And finally, a quality analysis system of anchor place installation establishment was set. So I just wanna give you some general information about the case study that was utilized in the study. So the project is along with the Heilongjiang River within the city limits of Hihi, China. The length of removable flood is 3,135 meters, whereas the total prefabricated anchor plates is accounting for 1,056. And the purpose of installing removable flood wall is to meet the new flood control standard without blocking the view of the skyline. Here is the established building information model. And at figure, in figure one, you are actually seeing the 3DB model, whereas on figure two, you are seeing the anchor plate model. 
Based on the original design provided by the manufacturer, a completed 3D model is created as shown on these figures. And what about the field procedure? So uh, it is better that I give you some information about the field procedure that was followed in the research. So figure three reflects point cloud installation. After leveling process, anchor plate is welded to the reinforcing steel to prevent the movement afterward. And first scan is performed to compare with building information modeling model for checking the offset and torsion. So figure three represents these processes and is named as point cloud installation process. And here is the data analysis and results. Uh, we were actually conducting some uh, point cloud analysis after we actually inputted the BIM model. And after performing a 3D laser scan, the raw point cloud data needed to be processed. So a Leica uh, device was employed to record all these processes. And you may see here two pictures. Uh, on the first picture, you are seeing the anchor plate after pouring concrete. And at the picture or at the bottom, you are seeing the anchor plates after pouring con concrete. And more data analysis and results. Here is the uh, representation of the design tolerances that was uh, that were followed up in the research. And this project used uh, China Geodetic Coordinate System 2000 as its main georeference system. And each control point was surveyed by the Lake Total Station that was mentioned in the previous slide under the CGC uh, S2000 system. And here is a comparison between the building information model and the point cloud data. This was compared in order to validate and test the reliability of the model. And what are the conclusions, the takeaways of the research? So this study mainly implemented a framework of integration for building information modeling and 3D laser scanning technology to control the construction quality of removable flood wall anchor place. And the BIM technology was used to establish an accurate three-dimensional model according to the design. Meanwhile, 3D laser scanning methodology was used to scan anchor plates before pouring concrete and after. And based on the tolerance requirements, a comparison was performed between the point cloud and BIM model to determine whether the tolerance was within the allowable range. And the series of series of rectifying measures were carried out for the components beyond the allowable range of tolerance to ensure the quality of construction and installation. The model not only improved the efficiency of construction quality control, but also established a preliminary foundation for semi-automation of quality control for built-in fitting in the concrete structure. It also provided a reference for the combined application of BIM and 3D laser in future scientific research. Thank you for your attention. Hope to give you more presentations in the future in a face-to-face -face organization. And please stay safe, stay home. Thank you.